Hello everyone, today in honor of football and two of my family's favorite teams, I decided to make this two-tier Cowboy and Packers cake. So if you guys want to know how to make this, keep watching. I start off by baking my red velvet cake batter in an 8 inch and 6 inch round cake pan. Once the cakes have cooled, I've leveled them and stacked them on top of each other to make sure that they're perfectly even and leveled. Now I'm going to tort the cake, which means that I am cutting the cake in half horizontally so that we have two even layers and I want to make sure that each layer is at least one inch high. Now I'm placing my cake on a cake board and filling each layer with some of my buttercream and stacking the layers on top of each other. I'm going to repeat the same process for each cake layer. Tort it, fill it, and stack it. Then once the cake is all stacked, I'm going to give it a crumb coat. I'm going to add my dowels and trim them to the right size, then I'm going to continue the crumb coat on the rest of the cake. Once I'm done with the crumb coat, I'm going to put it in the fridge to chill while I work on the other layer. I'm just adding buttercream onto my small cake board and adding the cake on top of it so it doesn't slide. Also, every time that you use dowels, the layer on top of the cake that's going to be sitting on the dowels needs to have a cake board, otherwise your cake is going to sink into the other cake. I've leveled and torted my second layer. Now I'm going to fill and stack these cakes together. After I finished stacking my smaller cake, I crumb coated it and popped it in the fridge to chill. Now here I have the big cake that we've already been chilling and we're going to cover it in some fondant. I roll the fondant onto my rolling pin and then unroll it over the cake. I use my hands and a fondant smoother to smooth the fondant around the sides and top of the cake. I'm using a pizza cutter to trim off the excess fondant around the cake. Now what I'm doing for a border for the bottom of the cake is I'm grabbing some green fondant and putting it around the border of the cake to make it look like grass from the football field. So what I do is I just grab a small little ball of green fondant, roll it into a twig like a little snake in between my fingers and then if it's too long I fold it in half and it actually becomes two grass strips. Now I'm moving on to my second layer, the smaller cake, which is going to be the Dallas Cowboys tier. So I am using some white fondant and rolling it over my cake. And I'm using my fondant smoother to smooth the fondant around the cake and using my pizza cutter again to trim off any excess fondant on the bottom. Now I'm just going to spray my cake with some Wilton Color Mist Spray in silver and this is just going to give it a nice sheen. Once the Color Mist Spray has set, I'm going to add the smaller cake on top of the bigger cake. Then I'm going to add a big dowel in the center of the cake to support both cakes. I printed out the Green Bay Packers logo to the exact size that I wanted it to be to fit the cake and I just cut the fondant to match the logo exactly. I've also cut out some thin strips of white fondant and placed them on the cake to match the lines on the field. I added four small strips in the center and two longer strips in the sides. I also printed out the Packers font logo and I made it out of fondant and I'm placing this on the other side of the cake. Now moving on to the top part of the cake, I added a white vertical fondant strip on the cake and now I'm adding a thinner navy strip on top of that one and this is just to mimic the cowboy's helmet. I made two of the Dallas Cowboy stars on the sides and I made one big one for the top of the cake. I also made the Cowboys font and put it in the front center of the cake. 
I made all the logos and font letters by printing out a template and following the patterns with fondant. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial on how to make this football Dallas Cowboys and Green Bay Packers inspired cake. We have the team's logos all throughout the cake and this is such a festive cake. You can customize it to any teams that you want. This is a great idea for the Super Bowl. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and keep watching for more episodes.